Hello, everyone. My name is Jay Hilliard, and I'm a plan counselor with Friends Life Care. We are doing a series of informational videos on uh, retirement confidential series. Today's topic is let's talk about what's your plan for long term care. I think everyone realizes now that Medicare has a very limited coverage for long term care. Uh, it's restricted in the number of days and the um, things that they will pay for. So most of the time people are self-insuring for long-term care unless they have a plan. So what does it look like if someone doesn't have a plan and at some point in their life they need some type of long-term care? What are their options? Well, one of them is to rely on their family. This sort of goes back many generations and people have relied on family, but things have changed over the last number of years. Most families now are spread out all over the place as far as geography goes. And many times uh, everyone in the family works full time. So there's not someone that can be designated as a caregiver for someone, especially 24 seven, seven days a week. And many people just don't want to place that burden on their family. Another aspect of not having a plan for long-term care is the cost that it can be. Uh, once Medicare runs out, which we talked about is very limited, just a number of days, uh, you're basically paying out of pocket for this type of care. Uh, someone going into a nursing home, we realize those costs can be well over $100,000 uh, for a nursing home. Assisted livings can be fifty-five dollars to $85,000 a year. Um, paying for home care out of your pocket um, can be exceedingly expensive and people don't realize that they spend down their assets so quickly when they're in care. Other things that people don't think about, if you're a couple and one of you needs care, they spend down all the assets for the family and then there's no money left for the second person. People look at continuing care retirement communities as a way to plan for long-term care. They involve a large upfront entry fee, it can be $100,000, it can be as much as a million dollars, depending on the place you go to. A lot of them have uh, contracts where 1% of your entry fee is your monthly fee to stay there. So there's a very expensive option for looking at moving into a CCRC. And a lot of people are a little hesitant to moving into those type of communities, especially with COVID and all the things that have developed over the last year or so. So that's kind of an option that, that people think about, but it is an expensive option. For people that do look at a plan for long-term care, one option could be long-term care insurance, where you have a policy with an insurance company to have access to a pool of money that you can use to offset the cost of home care, assisted living, or nursing. So you start that before you need it. The younger you start, the less expensive it is. It is underwritten. Um, so you have to be healthy uh, and not need care when you get it. And you start putting that money into that plan now, but there's a large pool of money that you can tap into uh, for those type of things. One of the drawbacks of long-term care insurance is the missing element of long-term care insurance, meaning it is strictly reimbursement of money. If you stay at home, you have to find the caregiver. You have to make sure that they are qualified to do what they need to do, that they're going to show up on time, they're insured, they're bonded, all of those things, pay them, take that bill fill out the claim form with the insurance company and wait to be reimbursed for the money. So you're paying out first and then getting reimbursed. The coordination of the care, who is going to give, who is going to be the caregiver, that's on you or on your family to find this person. The insurance company has nothing to do with doing that. So that's where we come to the Friends Life Care Plan. The Friends Life Care Plan combines the elements of long-term care insurance, meaning a financial pool of money, also based on the age you were when you started the plan. It is an underwritten product. You buy it before you need it. The younger you start, the less expensive it is. 
And now you have this pool of money. But in addition to that, all the other things I talked about, you are um, you start a relationship with a friend's life care care coordinator when you first join. They start a relationship with you when you're healthy and stay in touch with you when you're healthy. Down the road, if you do need care and services, they are your advocate in arranging, coordinating, scheduling. We do the background checks on the caregivers. We make sure they're insured, they're bonded, they show up on time. All of those things are done for our Friends Life Care members. Another big positive with the Friends Life Care plan, most of our members stay at home. Over 95% of our members that are getting care are getting that care in their home. So the Friends Life Care Plan is combining a lot of the elements of a full-scale plan for long-term care. I'm a big believer in a plan is much better than no plan, regardless of the financial aspect of it. You get to pick and choose that size of the financial, but all of our members get the coordination and the access to our caregivers. You'll know that they'll be there if and when you ever need them. If you would like a no obligation consult on a plan that might fit your needs, on the screen here is our phone number, also our email and our website. It's a good way to, to get in touch with a plan counselor and we can go over how a friend's life care plan might fit into your plan for long-term care. If you would like to visit more of our retirement confidential videos, here's a, a link a bit.ly link to all of our Friends Life Care Retirement Confidential videos. I want to thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it and have a great day.